We are back. We have returned for part three of our live segment of Storm Chasers, the uncertified edition. We are now passing what looks to be like a Dollar General in a 99 cent store. Why they're on the same strip, I don't understand. But that is not for me to get. Now, as we head down the other end of Beverly Rand Cocos Road, we are now experience some, experiencing some very rough terrain. That is Delaware Valley Baptist Church for all you people that go there. I have been there before, and I do like the services there. But for right now, we are now live on a live, light, snow-covered street that actually seems to be pretty clear, honestly. But look at this! Snow! It gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. Prior to my the ending of my uh, last recording, the camera memory card was a little full, but uh, as of right now, we are back in effect, and our, it seems like our pilot is having a bit of trouble driving this vehicle, but it's in four-wheel drive. Thank you, Susan. You are overdoing the speed limit. Susan, it's snowing outside. Lupus, and Lupus came down. Yep. We are now waiting for the stop sign to come down. And then, actually, there there are not supposed to be any cars on the road, ladies and gentlemen. Again, but we're, we're stressing the fact that this is a dire state of emergency. You get caught out here without a license, without any any business being out here, you will be in trouble. Let me say that again. If you are caught out here without probable cause, you will be in trouble. And why? Because there is a state of emergency. We, we can't stress it enough. We Not can't enough. Stress it enough. This isn't aired on, on Channel 6 Live, actually. They will never do this. They stand in the snow in front of a building and report the weather. We, ladies and gentlemen, are go in out room. into We're the in mist of hell. Now, I will turn it over to my colleague, he, who, 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 who's a little fucked up right now, so his throat and his driving abilities are a little jammed up, so I will continue the report. Oh, he's, oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, if you cannot see this, in front of me are two people. Yet again, we must stress that this is a state of emergency. Why are there people moving? They should be in their houses, in their beds, snuggled together, sleeping. But these people, my friends, are not. Troopers. Those are troopers who have nothing better to do with their lives than to be out in a state of emergency. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot stress it enough. I mean, if you don't, if you don't have to go anywhere, don't go anywhere. Now, that statement may seem a bit hypocritical because we have no destinations at this moment, but we are too out in the horrible terrain. This gentleman right here, or lady, is jammed right here. I'm going to put the window down so you can see the HD version. These people are walking to the 7-Eleven. That is not a mountain, people. These are real places, and that is a gas station that happens to be open. And here comes another accident, young ladies and gentlemen. This is real. This is real, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get any realer than this. We are now 3 minutes and 54 seconds into this video, and I have been able to show you trees, people, don't and a whole snow. lot of don't snow. snow. And let's not forget to mention how much we have to stress that, ladies and gentlemen, this is a state of emergency! We are supposed to be... That is a plow. I'm sorry for interrupting that. Oh my jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, this is as real as it gets. The plow man is stuck in the middle of the street. That is a tree, people, a tree. Why would anyone want to be in this stormy, dirty-ass weather? That is the plow man. If you have, again, ladies and gentlemen, let's stress the fact that if you have, you don't have to go anywhere, then don't leave your houses. Stay home. Stay home. That doesn't mean go out and shovel and try and beat the snow. No, that means sit there, wait, and then pick it up when it's 50 pounds. It doesn't matter. Why? Because yet again, we must stress that this is a state 
of emergency. That is all, people.